Hi all, Deckwizard here. Hope you're all okay. I've been having a nostalgic wave the past few days for the PSP and wanted to share how I've been reliving the days of 2005 onwards again, thanks to the Steam Deck. If you're like me and you love the PSP back in the day, then you're going to enjoy what you're about to see. Let's go ahead and load up Street Fighter Alpha 3 from Capcom. As you can see, I have all my games neatly organised with cover arts and banners and thumbnails for that best experience for all your old games. For all these tests I'll be showing the most detailed diagnostics on the left hand side of the screen while gameplay is happening. This is so you can get the best idea of how the Steam Deck copes under different levels of pressure. Since getting the Steam Deck I found you can develop a good mental understanding of what kinds of games will give you the best battery life and performance. You can adjust the brightness, turn the Wi-Fi off, check the TDP and wattage, if that's something you're also into, all from the quick menu button here. Uh, Karen's kicking my ass. But there you go. As you can see, games like this are running beyond expectations compared to the original hardware, and the Steam Deck doesn't break a sweat. So next we'll try out Another game, um, Chinatown Wars. This was a spin off uh, from Rockstar on the DS, which was then ported to the PSP. It's a really good game. It's the same type of mechanics from the original GTAs, where it's top down, and the story is really good, which I won't spoil in case you want to pick it up in the future after just seeing a bit of gameplay now. For those of you that may not know, the PSP, which stands for PlayStation Portable, was a gaming handheld that released tons of classics back in the day. I was lucky enough to get one brought back from America before the European launch, and it was amazing to have 3D portable experiences in your hands at the time. You know, seeing all my games running on the Steam Deck now compared to back then makes me kind of envy anyone that was my age back then with Steam Decks now. So, so we've tried that, we can come out. There is a little hang here when you come out of games, but it's very minor. So let's go ahead and try out Crash Tag Team Racing. Had a bit of a unique twist compared to all the other Crash Racing games. I'm sure the deck will run it no problems. You know, it had like platforming sections in it, which I don't think any of the other Crash games, the racing games had. great thing about having all your PSP games on the Steam Deck is they're all very low file size, averaging 1GB each, 
and that, that, that just lets you ram the device full of your favourite games depending on the size of your drive and SD card. You can see all these games are running in 60 FPS as well. If you've got the cash, you can have a 2 terabyte Steam Deck by having 1 terabyte internal and 1 terabyte micro SD. So with this, you could have a huge library of games from multiple, multiple console generations. You know, you're also looking at about five and a half hours of battery life on this as well, which I don't think the PSP or the follow-ups that Sony made could reach those levels. And this is on full brightness as well. The Wi-Fi is off, worth mentioning. Let's try out another game. Something you might not have heard of. This game's called Mercury. Um, it was a puzzle game. A uh, puzzle game me and my mate used to play, which we became really fond of. And you have to combine the Mercury blobs to finish the levels. It's a very low file size as well. And there were tons of games like it, like Dino Dash, which was on the PSP home screen as well. So you're probably wondering how to get all of this working. Well, you need to install a program called EmuDeck on your Steam Deck and have PPSSPP installed. These both run in tandem in the background while SteamOS is running to deliver the UI display that you were seeing me use earlier. Make sure to be subscribed to the channel as I'll be doing a step-by-step -step tutorial for setting up EmuDeck with all your emulators and systems very soon. Let's go ahead and play another game. Um, Metal Gear Acid 2. This was an absolute underrated gem on the PSP. If you're a Metal Gear fan or a fan of tactics games, I suggest giving this one a try. The story and the depth to the card system, it's like no other, and it's a cool spin-off to see for the series. You can see the battery life since we've been playing has not gone down very much at all. Bearing in mind I've had my Steam Deck for almost two months, the battery has held up extremely well, and that's on top of putting it through some serious tests, as you can see from my other videos, like Metal Gear Solid 4 and PS3 and 360 emulation.
as you can see, all these games run perfect. This one's one of those games which, when you get into it, you'll find it very hard to stop, especially when you get good at comboing all the cards together, and the story unfolds a lot more. As you can also see, we've got Crisis Core here, which I did do another video on the other day, so you can check that out if you want a more in-depth look from the beginning. All of these run really fast as well, which all look incredible on the Steam Deck display. You can see we're still at about 5 hours battery. So you can definitely take this out with you, and if you've got a portable charger as well, then you know, you're know you sorted for like a solid day of gaming. And I've also got the Wi-Fi turned off and the brightness turned up to max. Just go ahead and load up my save game here. Because I have been digging into this one a little. So yeah, I think that's all we've got time for now. I hope this video has given an insight into playing PSP games on the Steam Deck and what kind of capabilities there are, and the speed at which you can change between games. As I previously mentioned, please subscribe to the channel to be notified of when I upload a tutorial explaining how to install EmuDeck and have all your collection of games like you've seen today. Until next time, thank you for watching and I'll see you later.